Okay, before we start our class, let us stand and pray. Please, Sheila Joy, lead us a prayer. Let's bow our head and feel the presence of our mighty God. Panginoon, pinipulit sa nasamba at pinataas po namin ang iyong pangalan. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng mga biyayang pinagkakaloon mo po sa amin. Ito lamang ang aming pangalain sa matamis na pangalan ng aming tagapagliktas. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, thank you. You may now take your seat. Okay, good morning class. Good morning, ma'am. How are you today? Okay, ma'am. O, ma'am, ayos naman ba kami? That's nice to hear, mga anak. Okay, let's check your attendance for your... So, please check if your secrets are absent or present. We are all present, ma'am. Very good. Keep it up, class. Okay, before we proceed to the next topic, I just want to know if you still remember what we uh, discussed last meeting. Who wants to volunteer? No one? Okay, I'll just call a name from the attendance sheet. Okay, Miss Juby, tell me something what we discussed last meeting. Even just the topic. Mom, it's all about quadratic equation po. Very good. So, it is all about quadratic equation. It is a standard form, which is a, AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. Very good. Okay, what else? Okay, Miss Sheila Joy. Mom, we all also study factoring quadratic equations po. That's right. Those topics are also connected with the new topic that we will going to discuss or tackle for today. So, here, first. So, before we start our lesson, let's do this simple task. Discriminants 
uh, discriminant formula and explain their solution, or your solution rather. Fourth, you should be able to part, uh, appreciate the basic concept of mathematics through the application of formulas in quadratic equations. Then lastly, you should be able to construct the step-by-step -step solution in determining the discriminants and roots of quadratic equation using the formula based on your experience in the discussion and the given examples by me. Okay. So let's go back. Now going further with the roots of quadratic equation, there are lots of ways that we can do to get the root or to determine the roots of quadratic equation. We may use the factoring, we may use the quadratic formula and completing the square. But this time we will go into focus and use the quadratic formula. Okay, this is the quadratic formula. Yan. So, this is the quadratic formula. We have x equals negative b plus minus the square root of So, we know, notice that uh, there are two 
and negative. So, there are two possible answers. So, now we separate the operations. We have 3 plus 3 plus 5. Uh, the square root of 25 is 5. 5 over 4. And the other one is negative 3 minus 5. Of course, the square root of 25 is 5 over 4. So now, we have negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Very good. Over 4. Then the other one is negative 3, negative 5 is negative 8. Very good. Over 4. Now, we're just going to get or the lowest term of this, 2. So we have one half, one half and it's negative, negative two. two. Very good. Okay. Uh, you can you follow? Yes, yes, yes. Now from your solutions, did you arrive the same answer? Yes, ma'am. Very good. So here we have the second equation. Now let's try to have that one. Okay, who wants to try it on the board? Okay, Miss Sheila Joy. So, while we are waiting for Miss Sheila, try also to answer it on your paper. Yeah. 